Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today we are making pretty simple bucket hats and I have on a hat today but this is more of a summer hat. We're transitioning to fall and I wore it because now I've done already the end part and I have hat hair so I thought just throw on another hat. Today is hat day but today is super exciting because I have a special guest. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> It's my daughter, Gabrielle. This is Gabrielle. Um, she has been making off and on appearances since she was six, but more off these days. But she's back. She did the denim uh, shirt of Cycle with me, and I convinced her to come back for this denim bucket hat because she's the one who asked me for a bucket hat. And so since she asked me for one, you know, I can't upcycle anything without making a video about it. And since you guys had already requested it, I said, yes, we can do do that. So for her, we're going to be making a two-tone denim bucket hat. It's going to be single layer, so super easy. And then for me, we're making something special. I found these Adidas pants and shearling is really in right now. So I figured why not combine the two? You guys know I'm always doing something with some Adidas pants. Why not combine the two and make an amazing combination? So that's what we are doing. And I forgot to say, we are appearing on the Tamron Hall Show. You'll be able to see both of us together. They are kind of telling my story, um, Blueprint DIY here and Blueprint Signature. So definitely check that out. Okay, so for this one, we are going to start with a pattern. Now, I really like this specific one. Um, it's a copy of a Simplicity. Um, I cannot give you... <laughs> like the actual pattern because somebody else this is somebody else's pattern but I can give you the link for where I found it and then each of these is one inch I find that the the crown on this is the part that wraps around your head is just too high like I guess it's I don't know for people with long heads I don't know but I I do not have a small head so I just cut off an inch and now it's perfect the other thing is that this particular piece i'm going to show you i had to cut out a new piece because when i made the first example of this technically when you fold this in half they should have the same angle it was causing the brim to come out like flat like weird on one side and it's just a really small thing but when you're making a circle you know that angle matters and so you can tell it wasn't right when you fold it in half and it should have been out a little bit more. So I cut a new piece. So that's just a warning about that pattern, but you know, when you see how ours fit, if you like that, then this will work for you. I'm going to make a one-sided denim bucket hat. All right, so the first thing you want to do is just kind of lay it out. So I already know that it, this bucket hat is gonna be half and half. I sat and kind of thought about it. I could make it patchwork, cut up a bunch of pieces and piece them together. But when everything met together, it would unnerve me when the joints, if the joints didn't connect. So I need to fold this in half because I'm gonna cut half a circle on this and half a circle on this. And I'm gonna cut two of these in each color. This is actually a fold. It's supposed to be a fold, but my fabric is not big enough. So what I'm going to do is just cut two of them and cut it a little bit longer so that I can make a seam. Don't necessarily want a seam, but it is what it is. I actually only need one piece of this material and then one piece on the darker denim. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out this side so then I can cut out the other side. And when I'm on my fold, I want to cut, I want to extend out a little bit. For this, I'm gonna give it an edge on the fold because I, that's the same allowance to sew it to the other side. And then I folded these in half so I could see if I can get them to line up on this same line. I don't know if it's gonna work. Now, honestly, maybe I should have just done them random because if they're random and they don't line up, then it's okay. All right, so the reason I turned it this way is because it's supposed to be on a fold. So if it's supposed to be on a fold, that means one side will be out this way, the other side will be out the other way. And so I wanna make sure it's lined up right. So I turn this the right way to make sure that I do it correctly. And I'm actually gonna use my actual pieces as patterns now because they have the line. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is Sir, so our so why why sew our circle together 
with the seam allowance being whatever we left over. Then after that, we are going to open that circle up and do a top stitch just to give it a nice finish. Now the next thing we'll do is lay out the side pieces, good side to good side, even though they're different colors, and we'll sew them together at the ends. And sew the crown part to it after sewing the crown part together. So what I wanna do is open it up and sew it to that. What I wanna do is I'm gonna sew this part of the crown to the light and this part of the crown to the dark. So there's like back and forth. All right, let's see how it turned out. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Of course, slightly off. Slightly freaking off. But guess who not taking it apart? Me. All right, so what you want to do if you're not lining it, well, you wanna do this regardless. You wanna make little slits all along the edge, like every inch or so, and that will allow it to fold properly so that when you turn it right side out, everything sits the way it should be. Just make sure you're using sharp scissors. You can use the tips and you don't have to accidentally cut your stitch. And now when we turn it right side out, you know, it's able to pop out and have a crisp edge. I've heard some of you guys say that you like my accent when I say edge. I don't know what accent that is, but <laughs> I guess thank you. All right, so I think I'm going to do a top stitch along the edge. Um, and I believe I wanna fold, fold it down, like the whole seam, rather than opening it up and folding one side here and one side there, I believe I want the whole stitch folded down. Alrighty, so now we have this and we're ready to put it on this. We just gotta line it upright to make sure the right colors are where they're supposed to be. So yeah, light, dark, dark light. Ooh, now, will my seams line up? That is the question. Can I get them to line up even if they don't exactly? That's a better question. All right, we're gonna see if I did okay. Ah, uh, slightly off. Pretty much right on slightly off, ah, almost like way off. I'm debating whether it's worth it to take them a loose. I don't think I'm gonna take them apart because they didn't all go wrong in the same direction, so. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is clip these just like I clipped it at the top, and then I'm going to sew it up to the side part, and then I'm just going to make a stitch along the edge, and that's going to keep my edge from fraying too much. And if you wanna see my daughter in more videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up to let her know that you guys really wanna see more fashion, maybe teen, tween fashion, but not below 13, cause we don't wanna lose our comments. But yeah, and if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. We are trying our best to get to 1 million subscribers. Not so much to say that we have 1 million subscribers, but we just want to share the gift, the amazingness of upcycling with everyone all over the world. So definitely subscribe and share this video so everyone will know all the amazing stuff going on here. Okay, so for my hat, I'm actually going to use some Adidas track pants and some shearling. And shearling is like you think it's going out, but then it comes back in. So I saw it a lot on the runway, so I am going to use this as the lining, but it can be reversible. It could be on the outside or the inside. I have enough to cut out on the fold this time, so that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm gonna lay it on this side. I'm actually not going to try to do anything with the logo this time. We're just gonna use the stripes. I wanna make sure this is as flat as possible, and I'm just gonna begin to lay my pieces out. Uh -oh. That's not good. I lost the pen. It'll probably find my foot before I find it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. And then once I finish cutting these two out, I'll open this section up and cut out the um, top part. 
All right, so here we have all of our pieces and we're going to carefully sew these together so that these stripes line up. And then we're also going to sew these pieces together as well. So let's go to the sewing machine. All right, so we're gonna do the sheepskin now or the shearling. Also going to sew together the brim. Now we take the shorter part and attach it to the top. Then lastly, we just connect same to same and connect the um, brim. Ah, that's cute. All right, so on the second hat, is gonna be very similar to so on the first. To me, nothing else matters but these lining up. So we're gonna do our best. OMG. This is where you're supposed to mark it. I mean, to pin it. Do as I say, kids, and not as I do. If you're not use, working with a material that's stretchy at all, make sure you pin it. All right, let's see if at least our stripes lined up. Drum roll. Yes. Lined up. I'm gonna snip it around and sew down the edge so that we get it, you know, nice and popping. All right, so this is what it looks like after adding the line. If this annoys me too much, I may go back and take the blue stitch off of the white. That is just like really anal, but I might, I might not. Just like last time, we will go ahead and sew the edges of our brim together. I am actually going to clip it because I messed up the last one. All right, so I'm first going to clip together the seams and then I'll clip everything in between. Pretty spot on. So it goes up the side and it stops on the other side. That's the outside or one of the outsides since there's two outsides. So we're gonna fold it up this way and sew it down. Just like we did for the denim one. All right, so now we have both of our hats and we're going to combine them together. So I need to have good side to good side and preferably you wanna put the seams, you know, going in the same direction. So I'm actually gonna put the seam with this seam and we are definitely gonna clip this together. I'm trying to learn my lesson. And I actually want to make sure that I don't leave this as the open section. I want that so very well. All right, so then I will take it to the sewing machine, sew all around, except for a section about that big enough so that I can turn it right side out. And then we can, once we have it right side out and all, you know, fix the way we want, then we can sew that edge together. All right, now it is the moment of truth. Okay, so you wanna kinda stick your, oh, I forgot the. <laughs> I was supposed to slit, add slits on the edge. Can I get away with not doing it? For some reason, I feel like the circle, the top for the fur one feels bigger than the top for the Adidas part. All right, so I have a navy thread in the top and a white thread at the bottom because I want it to be, or I'm gonna try to make it as seamless as possible. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to make a stitch all along the edge. And then when you get to the opening, you're just gonna make sure that both pieces are folded and you sew it down just like everything else. On the other side, you can see like a little bit of the blue stitches, but what I'm gonna do is see if I can like kind of mess with the fur. Oh yeah, you can cover it up pretty well. Last thing is I want the brim to stay like this and not have it do this, if that makes sense. So in order to do that, I have to sew the two brims together. All right, so the reason I pinned this is because I wanna make sure that once I do that seam, it's not all twisted. Like in some places like here, it looks like it's starting to get twisted. So you wanna 
look inside and see if that's the case and then fix it, get it straight before you sew the two together. You don't want them twisting in any way. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. All right, inside, oh, not too bad. I'm just gonna rough it up a little bit. I am impressed with myself. All right, well, there you go. And hey, if you want to learn more about upcycling, right now I have a Renegade Upcycle Challenge going on, and it's a class that I'm teaching every month. We are upcycling at least one piece to combine together for one whole outfit. It's very focused, and you get to have some accountability. So if you're interested in that, as well as other perks, uh, advanced viewing of videos, knowing what I'm about to shoot, Go check out, hit that join button to learn more. All right, so let's see how it turns out. Love this. We got a whole denim on denim vibe going. Even though my hat is in denim, I have on those paper bag waist, like super patch on patch jeans, like super baggy. I absolutely love these jeans. You know, I had a whole 90s vibe going on. You know, they do say that whatever decade you were born, that's gonna be your aesthetic for, you know, forever. As she pauses to see if anybody caught that lie. Still, still, still love these jeans. And they go perfect with that Adidas slash shearling hat. And this one I have on the Adidas on the outside and I'll also show it to you with the shearling on the outside. <laughs> She, what do you, what do you, how did you style yours? I styled it really simple so that the hat would stand out. Yeah. Um, did you like your outfit? Yes, I loved it. Did you like the hat? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Definitely, if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe and share this video so everyone will know all the amazing stuff going on here. And we have other videos for you to watch right here. If you want to see Gabrielle in another video, check this video out. And if you want to see a whole 50 upcycle ideas, check out this video. So we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.